Hello everyone, welcome back, Kevin with Survival Boards. Guys and gals, I do not know who it was, but somebody made, an, made a purchase through one of my eBay affiliate links on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But please, if anybody wants to uh, shop for survival gear, or, I mean, just anything, just go to my website, take a look around. It's a big affiliate site. So the other night I was playing around making some waterproof matches and as I've said before in some videos I just a lot of times I'll just sit around the house and I'll start tinkering around with different things waterproof matches molly packs Changing gear around just seeing how things fit and just tinkering So I was making some waterproof matches and I was like, you know, I haven't done a video on these So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video on What I was doing and the results I thought it'd be interesting. So what we what I did <laughs> Also, there's something I've been wanting to do for 30 years, guys. I bought some over-the-counter waterproof matches. And it's just something I've, want, I've been wanting to do for decades. And every time I go to get some waterproof matches, I talk myself out of it. So I just like, well, I'm going to pick some up. And we're going to be using these in another video. We're going to be doing some side-by-side -side comparisons of different types of homemade waterproof matches and over-the-counter matches. And so what we're doing is I went down to Walmart, was looking through the fingernail section, fingernail polish section, and I was getting some strange looks. I was standing there with my Carhartt shirt, work boots, and jeans, and people were, especially the women, walking by looking me up and down. I was like, what is he doing here? So anyway, waterproof match. Uh, uh, hard as nails. I have no idea who this is. I just, it was a clear fingernail polish. So I picked it up. Now, what I did, this is what we did. I took a match. And now this is going to be how I made these waterproof matches. Give Just given a description. We're going to take and we're going to dip that in there. And if you look, if you see that, there's going to be a little bit of fingernail polish dripping off. So I let that drip and then I twisted the stick and you can see that fingernail. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I can see it here in person. And you let that fingernail polish run down that piece of wood, run down the match. And then you turn it back over and let it run back down. And just sit there and twist it a little bit till that fingernail polish spreads itself out real nice. You just let gravity do its work. Just let gravity do its job. And that's how I made these. It was one dip. And we're going to be talking about this in some future videos all that is is just one dip with the fingernail polish i'm not sure i well i don't know the difference between if there's fingernail waterproof fingernail polish i really don't care guys i'm this is something i'm playing around with we're not going to get real scientific with it so did that now what i after i did that i took a wrench like a little 13 millimeter wrench 12 millimeter wrench Laid it up on there and let it dry with that head up in the air. And that's what these are. We're just going to put this one over here with the head laying over the side of the table. And that's what I did with these. Now, they still smell. I don't know if that smell will ever go away. These I made these about a week ago, a little over a week ago. And they still have that fingernail polish chemical smell to it. I did some strike-on box for a fair comparison. I did some strike-on box. And some strike anywhere matches. It's like, well, let's just play around with that. So let's do a little. Let's just do a little something, guys. Whoops! Wind came along, blew all that off. Let's just do a little comparison, guys. Let's take a strike on strike anywhere match. I'm gonna toss it in the water. And we're gonna take a. Uh, these are strike on box, but I threw some strike anywhere matches in there. I don't see any more. I guess our box is almost empty. So we're just going to hold that underwater for a little bit. See how that works out. Let's try to light it. And nothing. The head on that strike anywhere match just came right off. See the head just came right off. Now let's take one of the strike anywhere matches that I put the fingernail polish on. Dip it in there just like what we did before. We're not going to be real scientific about this. We're not going to just Whenever I did this before, 
and the head came off. The head just wore off. All right, so that's that. Now let's try the strike on box matches. Remember, these are treated with that fingernail polish all the way up in here. See that? So it came down about three quarters of an inch on there. All right, now let's try that. Now, there we go. Okay, so the strike on box matches worked with the strike anywhere it did not and but to be fair guys to be fair we need to do that again this is one of the white tip now several years ago a decade ago um, diamond and some of the other strike anywhere matches changed their chemicals and they said well we haven't changed our chemical composition yes they have because these used to be blue they were white they went to blue in the late 2000s now they're back to white let's take that Dip it in there, hold it in there for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Shake the heavy water off of it. Not wanting a light. So that's two out of two of the Strike Anywhere matches that did not light Strike On Box match. One, two, three, four, five shake the heavy water off okay we are two for two with the strike on box matches i've got a couple so this so i think this is uh telling us a lot guys now i have preached i know a lot of people like to strike anywhere matches but i've gotten to the point where i really don't care for them because they're somewhat reliable once that white head comes off of it that's it yeah they get a little bit harder to light one two three four five flip that heavy water off nothing i don't know if y'all can see that or not but that head is just nothing okay so let's go for three for three with the strike on box matches strike on box match one two three four five flip the heavy water off we are three for three we are three for three with the strike on box matches zero and three for the strike anywhere let's see here that's another strike anywhere match one two three four five flip the heavy water off We'll make sure that we're using the same side of the box, too. Up, up, up. And nothing. It did not flame. Whatever that was. Okay, so what do we got? This is four, we're on fourth. Strike it, strike on box match. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, guys. Let's go five for five. What do y'all say? That is four for four of the strike. Four for four of the strike anywhere matches have failed. Four of four of the strike on boxes have lit. One, two, three, four, five. Flip the heavy water off. And strike on strike anywhere matches match fails again let's see if we could like just the side of it no nothing let's make it for five for five strike on box match it one two three four five there we go five for five that is five for five on where of the strike on box matches worked and five of five of the strike anywhere matches failed so what i'm going to do now is we're going to use a control sub subject take this out i've never used this before what i would like to see is if we can take oh crud all right i'll tell you what let's just do this then one two three four 
five. Heavy water off. See the striker on the side of that. And it lit. How about that? That is the first one that lit, but it did not stay lit for long. That's interesting. So it may be the result of the striker. Let's take these strike anywhere. These uh, waterproof matches out. Now we're going to be doing another video later on. I'm going to do a look, big comparison of, say, wax-coated matches with the fingernail polish matches. One, two, three, four, five. Flip the water off. Let's try the striker that's built on it here. Well, look at there. Okay. Took a little bit, but it's burning. Yeah, I like that. It's burning hot, hot, hot. Like that. So, the match head. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Almost think there was magnesium or something in there. Look at that burn. I wonder if there's a touch of magnesium in there. I don't know, guys. That'd be interesting. Because usually, whenever it burns like that, but anyway, anyway, so I'm, I am impressed by the results of that. The strike on box matches, five out of five worked. The strike anywhere matches, uh, four and a half out of five. One did flare up, but it just smoldered, did not have a real flame to it. And that's interesting, guys. That is very, very interesting. So if you're looking at doing waterproof matches, I would say ditch the strike anywhere and go with the strike on box. But we're going to do some more experiments later. That's it for now, and I will talk to y'all later.